I made fifty thousand dollars in one month as a corporate pilot. Come along as we fly the G4 to Mexico. I'll break down my month and show you guys exactly what I did, how you guys can do the same thing. Let's go to work, baby. Shake. Here comes push. There we go. Good test. Okay, on my side, ready. One, three, two, three, go. Three, two, one. Yeah, he's coming up. Shake. Good, Good test. test. All right, guys, welcome aboard the Gulfstream G4. We're here at Atlantic, and uh, we're going to call for taxi. Ground Gulfstream. We're in taxi at Atlantic. Out of the ground, runway three zero left at Bravo Taxi via Victor Charlie Whiskey. Victor Charlie Whiskey, three zero at the Bravo. Uh, All right, Ready? go for it. You're clear on the right. Okay, clear. Oh, ground just feet three seven at uh, signature taxi with Romeo. Nice and easy out of here. It's tight. It'll be a hard left. Try and keep it rolling without having to add any okay. power. Hey, Grand Southwest 110, uh, we are clear of 30 right, oh, going to Denver. Straighten 30. out a little bit. Alright, let me run through your taxi checks. Go for it. Paul, transponder's good, lights are good. Uh, Cowling ice, we don't need. Tell me how your brakes feel when you get All a right. chance. I'm going to pull up your brake uh, hydraulic right. page here. Here comes mine. Check yours. Okay, got him. Might feel good. good. My brakes. brakes. All right, so you got 50 blue or brown, no flags. You got uh, 3017 on the meter, about 60 feet. I see uh, 123 on the heading. VSI is zero. VSI is zero. Speeds will box. TRs. All right, that one first. Two, three lights. Good. Two, one. Two, three. Two, one. All right. Awesome. TR's good. Okay, fuel temp looks good, and uh, let's see your crew briefing. All right, dude. We're taking off from 30 left. We're on the Spartans. It's a left seat takeoff. I yep. will abort for anything between uh, zero and 80. If it's something to continue, you yell continue. You yep. do have abort authority. Let me know. We, we, Absolutely. Right? Uh, between 80 and V1, I will only abort for engine fail, fire. I can't keep her straight. Um, after that. Uh, after V1, we're going up and uh, we'll ground for Vista M. We uh, return airport is here. Uh, we're well below max landing. Uh, Any questions? Properly on that. Uh, no questions. And we're somewhere. in LNAV. Mm -hmm. you got blue needles. Flaps are 20, indicating 20 stem and handle agree. Engines and engine instruments are all in the white. Hydraulic pressure is 3300. APU is secured. Uh, Guidance panel is uh, 3 green, 3 amber. Uh, Monitor tower lineups are now. Canada tower, from my 3 0 left at Bravo. Clear for takeoff. All right, we're clear for takeoff. Three's left, the Bravo. Our, uh, All right, clear to go. Control. Clear on the approach. Uh, three zero left. Check your side as we're taking the runway. Uh, let go to Cabo, huh? Uh -huh. Three zero left, good wind. Let's do it. Setting takeoff power. Okay. Okay, airspeed's alive, right. power set 60, 80 your tops. My tops. V1, rotate. Positive rate. You're up. Four hundred. Flaps up. Can I get uh Felch two hundred, please? Yep. Hey, we'll see you guys. Gulfstream out of a thousand climbing via. Gulfstream.
Dark out of our radar contact. Maintain 5,000. I'll have higher for you here in just a moment. All right, we'll stop at 5. Number 98851, turn left heading 080. Vectors for full. 080-9851. Number 851, contact Oakland Center. 133.7, they'll get you on course. 33.7, thanks for the help. 9851. There's 9851, the Piaggio. Uh, is that the other one? Yep. No. Climb check's looking good, Paul. Uh -huh. Four climbing 5,000. Affirmative, I see it. Number eight. Uh, climb and maintain flight level 190, unrestricted. 190, thanks. Okay, we're still under the Bravo. I'm going to keep you at 200 for another like 30 seconds. Okay. All right, we're clear of the Bravo if you want to speed up. All right, let's go. Get me you out of man speed. speeds here. All right, let me get uh, Bob flying. Coming up. Thank you. Friendly, 3072, turn left, heading 050. 050, 3072. Contact Oakland Center, 133.7, three, three, good day. 337, we'll see you. All right, out of 18, I'm going standard, and no pulses in the same. Nope. <laughs> Center, goal screen, 18, climbing 19. Goal screen. Alright guys, so hello from our cruising altitude. We are officially in Mexico airspace. Nice little push day. Uh, heading down to Los Cabos, only an hour and a half to go. But uh, let's talk about why you guys are here watching this video, and that's how I made $50,000 in one month as a corporate pilot. No, that is not clickbait. That is 100% uh, legitimate. And I'm going to break it down for you day by day, what I did each day of the month, and uh, how I earned $50,000 in just flying revenue. That doesn't include stuff I did with social media or flipping airplanes with Jeffrey that is completely flying, income uh, Buendia, from flying. Uh, so I think it's important three, to talk four, about exactly what it is, uh, uh, Paul and I, three, what it is we zero, both do as corporate pilots well, because it's kind of unconventional. We, uh, we are not salary full-time pilots. Um, we do not answer to anybody. We do not work for anybody full-time. We don't get benefits, none of that because we are contract pilots. And I think that's kind of uh, something that most people don't really know about in the aviation world. So essentially, we work for ourselves. We run our own business, and that business is providing pilot services to uh, owners and, and flight departments who need pilots, right? So uh, we get paid a day rate, and that day rate is typically higher because we are responsible for our training costs, insurance, etc. So on the G4, the daily rate is $2,000. And uh, it is, it's important to note that uh, I charge that, and all contractors charge that, whether you're flying or not. So if you're airlining to a trip, or if you're sitting in a hotel, you're making $2,000 any day you are not in your own bed at home. Okay, so that's really important, and don't let anybody talk to you now otherwise. There's no half day for no flying days or half travel days. No, it's a, it, either you're home and you're not making money, or you're on the road and you're making your full day rate. So yeah, we essentially run our own business. It's a constant hustle. We're constantly trying, trying to find gigs, because if we're not flying, we're not getting paid. But we also have complete control over our schedule. We can turn down trips. We can pick and choose what we want to do. And it's, uh, it's a very hot market, as I'm about to explain to you. I'm constantly turning down trips, giving them to other contractors. We all work together. But uh, it's a very lucrative line of work. I love having the control and the freedom to you know, go fly the Piaggio one day, go fly the Gulfstream the next day. So I'll make a future video breaking down exactly how to become a contractor and all the nitty gritty and the do's and don'ts. But for now, let's break down my month in November and talk about um, exactly what I made and how you can do the same thing. All right, so here we go. Month of November. I'm going to break it down day by day, tell you guys where I flew or what I did and uh, what I made. Hopefully this is eye-opening to some of you. I'm trying to make this as educational as I can to see to show you guys, look, if you're willing to hustle and, and network, you can do this and be a full-time contractor and make really good money. So let's jump right into it. All right, so starting off strong, November 1st, I had a two-day trip in a G4. On the 1st, I had to airline out to Nashville. That was it. Airline to Nashville. $2,000. Spent the night. The next day, I flew a G4 from uh, uh, Nashville back to Los Angeles. 
airline home. That was about 20, a little over 24 hours worth of work. I airlined out in, in the middle of the day on the first, got back in, you know, late afternoon on the second, $4,000 right there. Awesome start to the to the month. Love to see it. From the, the third to the fourth to the fifth, uh, I was really busy flying the Piaggio around. Um, I did make a video uh, from one of those trips. Check it out. Uh, we went to Scapoos. Scapoos? I still can't remember how to say it. I don't either. But anyways, uh, I charge $1,500 a day in the Piaggio. So uh, on the third and the fourth and the fifth, I uh, made $1,500 each day flying the Piaggio. I went to Vegas a couple times, up to Oregon, back to Vegas. Um, so there's a, another $4,500 in a weekend. So already off to a really good start. On the 6th, I took a day off. I, it was much needed. On November 7th, I started a six-day G4 trip on one of the planes I contracted out of Santa Barbara. You'll see some episodes uh, on that one in the future with my good buddy Curtis. So that was a pretty solid trip. I traveled down to Santa Barbara on the 7th, and then we repositioned the plane to San Francisco that evening. Spent the night in San Francisco. On the 8th, we flew to Teterboro. Spent the night in Teterboro. The next day, we flew to Albuquerque. Spent four days in Albuquerque. Flew back to uh, Santa Barbara on the 12th. And then, uh, and then I got to commute home. So there's a solid six days, two thousand dollars a day. That's a twelve thousand dollar trip right there. So that one was, that one was really nice. Okay. So that was a solid trip. Got home on the twelfth, got the thirteenth off, and I kind of had the next few days open. And I had a buddy who flies a PC-12 say, "Hey, I'm going down to LA, Santa Monica for a couple of days. Uh, you want to be my right seater? I'll pay you five hundred bucks a day." So I had nothing going on. It was great because I got to see some friends while I was down there, and. I enjoy flying with him, so made a thousand bucks on the 14th to the 15th, uh, just right seeing a Pilatus going down to Santa Monica and back to the Bay Area. So I took the 16th off in preparation for an 11 day trip in the Gulfstream G4. Uh, yeah, so uh, on the 17th, I commuted down to Burbank in the evening to be in position for uh, an early morning departure out of Van Nuys on the 18th. So, of course, I charged him a full day, $2,000 on the 17th. And this one was kind of all over the place. It was getting a family to uh, to Cape Cod for Thanksgiving, so we were kind of shuttling back and forth. So on the 18th, we did our morning flight to Cape Cod across the country, spent the night. The next uh, the next day on the 19th, we went to Atlanta, picked up the next group, flew back to Cape Cod, spent the night. On the 20th, we flew to Oakland, spent the night. On the 21st, we flew back to Cape Cod, got the rest of the group, the last, the last group, to uh, Cape Cod, and uh, we spent the 22nd Thanksgiving, the 23rd, and the 24th in Cape Cod. And then we did it all in reverse from the 25th to the 26th to finally finishing on the 27th. So that was a solid 11-day trip. So uh, you do the math. So that's a nice $22,000 in my pocket for uh, 11 days of flying. And it was also nice because, as I mentioned, two of the days, uh, two of the overnights took me to Oakland. So it worked out because I live in San Jose. I was actually able to save the money on a hotel and go home. So I did get to break it up and spend uh, two nights in my own bed, which was uh, really, really nice. But, uh, so that was a solid trip. And it just happened to work out that I had another trip out of Santa Barbara the next day after we got back to Van Nuys. So on the 27th, when we got back to Van Nuys, um, I think I took the train that day up to Santa Barbara to be in position for my trip the next day uh, on that same G4 out of Santa Barbara to Mexico. So on the 28th, the morning of the 28th, I flew down to Mexico City with Curtis. We filmed a great episode that day. Stay tuned for that. And we spent the 28th, the 29th, and the 30th in Mexico City, flew back the 30th, so that was another $6,000, three days of pay. We actually got back so late on the 30th, there were no flights home, so we got a room and commuted home on the 1st and got paid another day. That one really worked out, and you know, sometimes it is what it is. We try and help when we can, because we want to get home too, right? But when there's no flights and we're exhausted, you know, sometimes that's what you got to do. You got to book a hotel and get, get on a flight the next day. So the grand total for November is $51,500, and that is just in pilot fees from November 1st to December 1st. Yeah. So as you can see, it's a constant hustle, but if uh, you're willing to put in the work, you will definitely enjoy the reward. I must also say not every month is this good. It happened to work out where some of the big trips were back-to-back. -back. October and December are 
panning out to be almost just as good. So, again, it all comes down to hustling and networking. This is something uh, any of you guys could do, and no matter what airplane, whether it be a Gulfstream or a Citation or King Airs, uh, there's always a market for contract pilots. You just got to know where to look and got to gotta put in the work. So I hope that was eye-opening to you. I'm trying to make this as educational as possible to show you guys there's more routes than obviously just the airline route, but within the corporate aviation industry, you can be a contract pilot and, and work for yourself and be super successful without having to work or answer to anybody else. And uh, to me, it's the best quality of life, and obviously pay is really good. So I uh, highly recommend if you have the opportunity to be a contract pilot, definitely consider it. I'm going to make another video breaking down exactly how to become a contract pilot, the do's and don'ts, because there is a lot to know and, and, and a lot to consider. Uh, you can't. It's not one of those things where you kind of just jump in and do it. So stay tuned for that. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed the breakdown of my month and uh, how lucrative it, it can be as a contract pilot. So today's date is December 26th. So as you can imagine, it is a mess out there today. Everybody has the same. Everybody has the same idea and wants to go somewhere warm after Christmas. There's a nice conga line of airplanes heading down to Cabo. Hopefully we don't get any delays inbound, but uh, she is clearly busy. <laughs> a lot of airplanes coming in. It is chaos out there. Tickets facing, turn left, heading 080 for three minutes, then direct to Alrin. 080 for three minutes, then direct to Alrin. Wow, she's having a... Go. Center maintain our follow-up, 200, 200. Wow, so uh, she's, she's giving everybody delay vectors so far. We've <laughs> slipped through the cracks. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to jinx anything. Voyage 2060, descend 7000. 7000, which is 2060. Approach November 260, descend 200. Fox Union Fox, reduce when possible 160 new indicados, 160. Reduciendo 160, Alpha Fox Union Fox. Jet 590, 10 mile final, Bravo 7, Terminator, contact tower, 118.9. Over to tower 18.9, flexion 590, good day. Fox Fox, reduction, lo antes posible. Reduciendo, Fox Union Fox. Correcto. November 318, Alpha Golf, traffic spacing, make a left on heading 140, two minutes, then fly direct to Marac. Maintain 5,000. Okay, 140 on the heading for two minutes, then direct Marac down to 4,000 for eight, Alpha Golf. And maintain 5,000. I'm sorry, 5,000 for our 8 Alpha Golf. Approach November 240, descending 200. Contact, uh, contact uh, San Lucas, 118.25. 1825. Fox, Union Fox, Nicolás, Indica. 190. San Lucas, November 230, descending 200. I don't think that's right. Continúa en la aproximación RNP a la 16. Reducción a la mínima aproximación a Fox, Fox. Fox Union Fox, contacto a Torre 18.9. 18.9, Fox Union Fox. Approach November. Confirm our frequency, please. 119.25. Gracias. Right any 180 for uh, 360 hotel off. Approach November. 210, descending 200 with Juliet. Approach November, flight level 200, Juliet. Number radar contact, the same via Arling, one golf arrival. Respect the RMP, approach the wrong way. 29er, antimeter, 29er, 9er, 8. Alright, we'll descend via and expect the uh, approach for 29. Alright, 5,000 at the bottom. I set the, Got your uh, VNAV in there. Biggest flight, 1064. Should catch it right here. Flight, 1064.